Back now on MLB Network from Studio 21, Robert Flores along with Melanie Newman. A new Top 100 Prospect Rankings has been released, and of course there are some exciting new names to get to know, including, for the first time, a woman. We've been following her story closely for a while now, and Melanie, put this in perspective for us. What does this mean being included on this list? Well, it means that her talent is credible. It's legitimate. I mean, these are lists we've watched scouts, different people who specialize in minor league baseball. They watch every single person, some of them from the time that they really start their high school journey. So these spots are not just given to anybody. There are thousands of players in the minor league system. So for her to finally notch that spot, it's a big nod to what she's been able to grind out so far. And for the players that are on this list right now, what's the reasonable expectation moving forward. Top 100 is cracking the big leagues, right? That means that you're not just going to excel at the minor league level. You're going to take that into the next step. You start to look at places like the Arizona Fall League, those finishing schools, the futures games, those moments that really kind of put a target on you that, hey, this is a big piece of our future team to come that wants to contend for October. Well, congrats to all the new members of the Top 100 prospects list. We can't wait to see how their game develops in the near future. A meteoric rise for Mia Lewis. My name is Lauren Shahadi. Friends are here, Melanie Newman, Carlos Pena, and today another historic step in the history of women in our sport. Mia Lewis set to make her debut as the first woman to play AAA baseball. Carlos, I mean, she is one step away. She's knocking on the door, Carlos. Yes, yeah, so look, the biggest test was double A, right? You have to show that you can be consistent. Sure. Uh, you have to go out there and perform your preparation, the grind of travel. It's really challenging, and she's just pretty much passed every single test. So very well deserved, uh, now in AAA, a step away from, you know, making the big leagues uh, truly a dream come true already. And it's so hard. You don't want to get ahead of yourself. You all know that. You have to be where your feet are in that moment. It's hard. But she doesn't have an issue doing that. You talk to other members of her organization, the coaching staff, her teammates, and again, no one has given her anything. They've wanted to see her tested, maybe even a little more than the average teammate that she's with. But on that organizational chart, number one in work ethic, the talent is there to back it up. This is something that's going to continue on through her career, no matter how far she goes. And everyone talks about her mental toughness. She has used it up the ranks. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. This game will feature double-A baseball from the Eastern League. It's the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Ashley Graham. Opposing batters have struggled against her this year, batting under 200. Think about this. 
From the start of the wildcard era in 1995 through 2023, 50 major league starting pitchers held opposing hitters to a batting average under 200. Only five of those seasons came with an ERA over three. So it goes to show how effective it makes her to keep that batting average against down. And plenty of time to first. One up, one down. And the batter will be the shortstop, Frederick Ben Cosme. In there for strike one. One out and the base is empty. And he grounds it to the right side. Kafis. And steps on the bag for the out. So two down now. And here at the plate, the designated hitter, number three. Swing and a foul straight back. Two outs and nobody aboard. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-2. She's really attacking the zone, so the hitter has to get more aggressive. However, she could counter with something that breaks out of the zone to draw a swing. And the count, one and two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. And now the one, two. Keeps the A-B going with the foul ball. Pitcher's got to be wondering what's going to get the swing and a miss. She might need to change speeds or locations. Well, that's a strikeout, and that does it for this inning. Offense held in check. Bottom half of the second at the plate. The first baseman, Graham, getting back to it out there. Up and in, and that's ball one. Graham stands at 5 feet 8 inches. She works with a four-seam fastball, a changeup, and she mixes in a slider. In the air to center, Halpin on the way over. And there's one away. So digging in, the second baseman, number one. That one finds the zone. The Bay Sox trailing by two, bottom half of the second inning. And now it's even up. And that's in for a strike. And now two and two. Back and a miss. That's a strikeout. Now at the plate, the third baseman, number 40. And that one is in for a strike. Two outs, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Try to get him chasing on the changeup. And another ball. Here's the 2-2. Skies it out towards left center. Help it. Drop step, heads back on it. And the inning is over. After the first two innings, a 2-0 ball game. As we go to the last of the third, and now at the plate, Douglas Hodo. The pitch. That one finds the corner, 0-1. And there's a ball. And that one's off the outside edge. And swing and miss. Just outside. What a take with two strikes. Good plate appearance there, able to take the walk. Now the left fielder, number 11. Swing and a foul straight back. 0-1 now. 
That one fouled off. And it's foul, and the at-bat keeps going. Runner at first, nobody out. What an at-bat he's putting together. He's doing a great job of frustrating the pitcher, and that makes a mistake pitch more likely. O2, rocks and fires. Got him looking, and that's a strikeout. Next up, Silas Ardoin. This one popped up. And it falls. Lead runners around second. The throw in, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. Enrique Bradfield Jr. will hit next. Right through there for a strike. Runners at the corners, one away. Here in the back end of the third inning. And a swing and a miss. Huge K there. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Frederick Ben Cosme. That one a little bit hot. And it's one and up. Fell back our way, and that's out of play. I like the decision to swing on that one, but just couldn't square it up. Foul ball there. Power approach on the mound here. Nothing but fastballs in this A-B. 1-2 misses, and the count is even up at 2-2. Two -two. Wouldn't chase that time. The runner will be going here on three and two, but the hitter has to stay focused on the pitch and not get distracted. And now the full count offering. And that one is foul. We'll try again. Eighth pitch of this A-B up next. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Didn't make it easy on the pitcher, but they still get the strike. We're back here at the ballpark. And now the DH, number three. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, so far, so good for her today. But as you get to the meat of the order the second time around, that's where an outing can turn on you. Still, she's been on top of it to this point. He goes down looking. And next, the cleanup hitter, number 20. Fastball for a strike. Wasn't interested in that high fastball to start. I wonder if he wants something lower. And it's one and one. Decent movement on that slider, but she needs to bring it a little closer to the plate. That one was way outside, and the batter was able to take it more easily. Next pitch misses down and away. The rubber ducks, leading by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one misses, and the count's full. Swings through it, and that's a K. And now, the second baseman, number one. Fouled off, he was late. And that's in there at the knees. Clearly, she's confident in her breaking ball in this one. Cranked out to right center. Delgado should have this one. Pulls it down for the catch. So no runs. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Now the third baseman, number 40. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Fly ball out to left field. Makes the call and the grab. Now it's the right fielder, Douglas Hodo. That one miss. Hodo stands at six foot even, 185 pounds. And he's usually in center, but today starting in right. One ball, one strike. Late on that fastball. Struck him out looking. Digging in, the left fielder, number 11. 
There's a strike. The Bay Sox down by a pair. Bottom half of the fifth. Next pitch in for a strike. Fine work in this one. Just one strike away from a fifth shutout frame. And that one is in the dirt. Swings and misses. And that'll be that. So they've been held scoreless through five. Five innings down. The Rubber Ducks on top. Two to nothing. We're back here at the ballpark. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Here's the catcher, Silas Ardwan. Graham getting back to it out there. Just missed. Next pitch, in for a strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Kafis drifting towards this one. Hauls it in for the out. We head back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Enrique Bradfield Jr. First pitch, that's in for a strike. The Bay Sox trailing by three here in the bottom of the sixth. It's ball one. That's such a hard pitch to lay off of at the plate. Nice job to spit on that tempting slider down and in. Try to get him chasing on the changeup. Swings through that one for a strikeout. And now the shortstop, Frederick Ben Cosme. That one pulled foul. Now here's the 0-2. And a foul ball, so he stays alive. Ground ball, right side. And foul ball. Gets a piece, it stays 0-2. What a battle, and after five straight foul balls, you got to wonder who's going to win this one. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. 0-2 now. Fights it off. We'll see another. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball to third base. Into the outfield. Base hit. That keeps the inning going. Just the second hit she's allowed tonight, and I don't think that one is going to break up her rhythm too much. Gotta say, she's been terrific with her command in this one. Out, 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 out. Ben Cosme leads off of first with two out. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count is one and two. Fly ball, left field. Brennan under it. Brings it in for the third out. Tanner Burns gets the call from the pen. And with a nice lead in hand, he needs to have it. Graham really excelled in this start to help lift him to the win. Threw six shutout innings and notched double-digit strikeouts. I almost feel bad for the other team. That lineup had no chance the way she was dealing in this one. Very impressive at this phase of her career.